Hi, this is Judd with Presenter Media. I'm going to go over a quick tutorial how to use our online word cloud generator. So I have a word cloud shape open, a clip art shape. And what I want to do is click this customize word cloud. If I like the shape, <clears throat> word cloud shape as it is, um, with all the words and everything, I can just click these quick downloads and um, easily download that. Uh, right now or I can click in here if I want to change the words colors or font um, even the shape so I'm going to click that and now I'm inside our uh, word cloud generator app so I am going to start inside this tab which opens up by default the cloud settings and inside here you'll find a list of all your words that um, are fit into your um, word cloud shape and for this one there's a bunch of uh, words about space so you'll see over here where it says weights uh, most of these are weighted the same but you'll see space is weighted higher <clears throat> that's going to tell the, the word cloud generator to make that word a priority and um, enlarging it so it stands out so Let's go up to the top bar here. Um, you have repeat words. If I click that off, you'll see that um, just less words appear. Um, if I click repeat words, you'll see that more appear. And it's just um, repeating all these words to kind of fill in the space of the shape. You'll see there's a rotate words. Um, if I play around with that, you'll see it kind of just rotates to whatever you like the rotation of your words to be. So I'm gonna kind of set it back to what it was. Uh, that looks pretty good. <clears throat> I can also click random and it'll just kind of place them however it, it chooses to place them in there. Uh, perpendicular, kind of just put them um, up and down as it sees it, um, or as it fits best in the shape. And I'm going to click refresh just to get it back to where it was. And you'll see where it says scale words. If you drag that up and down, it'll just make the words smaller or bigger. So the last thing in the, the list here is the new word list. And I'm going to click create list. And you'll see it just um, a empty paragraph box opens up. I'm just going to copy some words in there I have in a notepad so you can kind of see what you can do and you could you could add a paragraph if you wanted in here and it'd pull off the keywords of that paragraph so once you have your text in there click update paragraph and you can see it's generating the new words I have and it made also made a new list of all these words as well so I have solar system and made it two words. I just want it to be one word so I can copy that and paste it in there so it's all one word. And I can go over here to the little um, trash can icon and delete that. So once it updates, you'll see that <clears throat> the solar system now is one word. And I want this beyond to be the big word so what I can do is select the weight. I'm just going to put 600 in there and see what happens. Let's see. Oh, I guess I need to change all these to 400 because it's to weighting them all. Yeah, there we go. So that looks pretty good. So you can see that um, Beyond and Exploration are both 500 weighted higher. So you can see that beyond is bigger in the word cloud. <clears throat> Ex exploration is not as big because it's a longer word. It's harder to fit that into um, areas. So let's see. So we got that. That looks cool. Um, I'm happy with that. I'm going to go into colors, the colors tab right up here. And you'll see it opens up a list of um, color themes I can choose from. So if I just start clicking on these, you'll see that it, it updates with a, a brand new color um, theme for this, this shape here. I'm just gonna click on a few. Yeah, it looks cool. 
and here's some ones with white backgrounds down here yeah i think i like that okay cool um let's see so i have the text colors it'll show you can see that they update up here i can change these colors to whatever i choose and you'll see it updates that that main color so this main color the first swatch it um, automatically tries to weight with the highest um, the highest weight weighted word so beyond and, and exploration you can see are now that color so just keep that in mind when you're creating um, the colors okay so let's see I can change the background color let's change that to a black that looks pretty cool and then I can also change the shape color and opacity which is the shape behind the words I'm going to change that to a gray and see how that oh, turned out pretty good I think a gray maybe I'll make it a little lighter yeah cool I like that all right let's see and let's go to right here. So this little um, color picker right here goes with this text colors. If I check that on, you can see that it changes all the text to one color. So if, if that's what you choose, you can check that on and, and play around with the color. I'm gonna click this back on to get the colors I had. Okay, that looks pretty cool. And I'm gonna go on to font style. So I click on font style and that this is the area I can select the font I want. So I can just go here and click and you can see it starts updating with, with the font I select. Hmm, what do I want? Let's try this railway. Okay. Yeah, I like how bold that is. I, I'm gonna use that, I like that. So um, one thing I can do, I can see there's some spots missing in here, um, which is fine. Um, with that background shape it, it looks pretty good but say I wanted to try to make it the, sh the shape of the planet without the background um, or the shape color I can take that off I would need to select a few more words in here to fill it out so if I click add word down here I can add words to my, my cloud so I'm just gonna put planet back in there I'm going to set it as a 200 weight. I'm going to add another word, space, and set it 200. Yeah, I think I like that. Yeah, you can see that it's now filled in with some of these smaller words. It's filled in those areas so I can see the shape more without the shape color on. So you can turn it on or turn it off. Okay, let's go, did font style, I found the font I liked. You can also go into shapes if you don't like the shape or if you wanted to change the shape, uh, you could do that too. So, let's see, most of these won't work for my keywords. Well, this one might be rocket. Let's put that in there, cool. I like that, the rocket. Okay, I think I like this and I want to download it, so what I can do now is go over to this section right here and I can select either a PNG which will be a transparent image when I download it or a JPEG with that black background is selected. I can also go, go here and select small, medium or large whatever size I choose. I'm just gonna make select the largest size and I can download the word cloud right now or I can save it to my media which is a pretty cool feature because that will save it to my media and upload so when I'm logged in to my account I will be able to access that anytime to edit it um, yeah whenever I want to it'll be saved there always if I choose okay um, I'm gonna click save to my media Okay, it says, yep, it's been completed, saved. I go in there, and yes, you can see that now I have my 
my word cloud save in here and if I want to save it forever I click click to save and it will be in there forever for me to use. Um, I'm going to click redo that will take me back to that project and refresh there, there we go. Cool and that looks good. Very nice and I'm going to actually just click download word cloud and you can see that right here on my computer it downloaded and this is the previewer on my computer now with my image and I can add that to my presentations for PowerPoint, uh, Google Slides, or Keynote or I can add it to social media if I want to post a social media post with it or marketing material I can add it to marketing material. Um, pretty much uh, any editing program you can load it in as a JPEG or a PNG. Okay, I think that covers all of the stuff I want to cover in this one. Stay tuned for um, the next tutorial here, which will be showing you how to add word clouds to our custom, our customizable text. So um, customizable text images. I'll show you here. If I go to custom graphics, you'll see all these graphics have their own uh, message on them. So I could load my uh, word cloud that I make into this graphic and it will render it out and put it on this, this um, note this guy is holding. Or I could add it down here underneath this guy's table. Um, pretty much any one of these um, design, custom design graphics I can add it to. So I'll do that in the next tutorial. So um, come take a look at that. Thanks for watching. Bye.